my name is Tazwar Ridwan, and before I start, I would like to get a couple of things out of the way. Number one, I'm not that fancy, and number two, I'm not all that creative at times. So, I'm just going to get started with what I like to call the to-do list. For elementary school, I attended Mary Shack Public School, <laughs> and in the future, for my high school, I'll be attending Wesley Pearson Collegiate Institute. I was chosen for the Enrich program, and um, I chose Enrich for all three subjects I could. Language, math, and science. I decided to take the rest of my subjects as um, academic courses, because why not? Then, moving on, I generally enjoy school because of those few days you get with the with what you I guess you could call it an interesting uniqueness to it. Yeah, an interesting uniqueness that it has, whether it be in schoolwork or even outside of schoolwork. But I don't really enjoy the rest of the days of school because they're usually bland, sometimes boring and well, sometimes we even um, repeat what we do for well, the entire period and sometimes for a couple of days. And after that, well, let's talk about my favorite subject. My favorite subject would be math. Because, well, three different reasons. Number one, it really comes easy to me. Number two, well, I'm good at doing math itself. And number three, it's like a puzzle. And I really like puzzles. That's why I enjoy, well, math class itself. So, so if we go to a subject that I don't like, I had to pick between drama and dance until I thought about it a bit more and realized that drama and dance are both the same subject in a sense in where in where um you have to perform in front of an audience using visual representations. But then I also realized that I couldn't really pick between either, so I just went with both. I generally would speak in front of an audience, but I do not like performing in front of an audience, and that is my reason for disliking drama and dance. After that, um, let's go to how do I learn something new. I think of it as a problem. I try to incorporate it related with something I had previously learned, embedded into my memory. It's kind of like Kind of like an example like this, um, when you learn something like 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, and then you learn subtraction, then you have to realize by relating those two together, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, then we can automatically use subtraction and say that 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Kind of like that. relating. Relating something that you learned before with something that you are learning at the current moment. Yeah. And for things that I don't generally like to learn, well, I usually just endure it, face, face myself, and basically just say that you kind of have to learn this, so learn it. <laughs> so, um, basically, yeah, I do that, and then I just try to relate it to something I had previously learned. One thing that I fear about high school. One thing that I really fear about high school would be the workload itself. Now, generally, I would work to complete the assignments that were given. But sometimes I can be very lazy and even if a lot of assignments are due, I can't really finish that much work. And that's what I'm really afraid of will actually get me in high school and get me a lower mark. Hopefully that doesn't happen. 
And although that may happen, I am very excited to make new friends and discover new opportunities, um, you know, things that will help me towards my future career in success, maybe even. And as hobbies go, well, I have something productive, something not as productive, and something that you can think of it from two different perspectives, actually. Perspectives, yeah. For something that's productive, I play the piano, which is basically what almost so many other people do. So many other people. And for something not productive, well, I watch TV. TV shows in general. And for something that could be debated would be being lazy. And you might think, well, how does that even fit into this? Technically, if you think about it, think about it really deeply. Being lazy is a hobby. It's an activity and, well, can't really remember the last one. But technically, you can debate on that. And that's basically the end of the video. Bye.